In this video, I'll explain how to rename files using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in the video, I will show you an example. And this example is based on the directory and the files that you can see in this folder on my desktop, which is called my directory. So in this directory, I have stored four different files. And as you can see, the names of these files are another file, I have many PNG files. This is a file, what a nice file. So these file names are not really structured. And for that reason, I want to show you how to change the names of these files using the R programming language. So as first step, we need to specify the path where our files are stored. And as you have seen, the files that I want to change are stored on my desktop in the directory, which is called my directory. So if you run line two of the code, you can see that at the top right of RStudio, a new data object is appearing, which is called my path. And this path object contains the path to the directory where the files are located. In the next step in line five of the code, I'm applying the list.files function to this path object. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data object, which is called file names old. So if you run line five of the code, another data object is appearing at the top right, which is called file names old. And we can print this data object to the RStudio console as well by running line six of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console, the file names of our files. So as you can see, the file names are another file. I have many PNG files. This is a file and what a nice file. So the four file names of the files in our directory. Now in the next step, we also need to define the new names that we want to assign to these file names. And we can do that as you can see in lines eight to 10. So in these lines of code, I'm using the paste zero function. And within the paste zero function, I'm specifying that our file names should be changed to file number one, number two, number three, and number four. So if you run lines eight to 10 of the code, you can see that another data object is appearing at the top right, which is called my file names new. And we can print this new data object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 11 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a vector with four different file names ranging from file name number one to file number four. And now finally, we can rename our files as you can see in lines 13 and 14. So in these lines of code, I'm using the file.rename function and the paste zero function. And within the paste zero function, I'm first specifying the path, so the location of our files, as well as the old file names. And I'm specifying again using the paste zero function, the path and the new names. So if you run lines 13 and 14 of the code, our file names will be updated. So as you can see, all files have been renamed. So the first file is now called file number one. The second file is called file number two. Then we have a file number three and a file number four. So in this tutorial, I have explained how to change the file names of multiple files using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.